So in this video, I'm going to give you five reasons on why you should get up at 5 a.m. and explain why people that wake up early have an insane productivity advantage. So let's get into it. It's no secret that some of the greatest thinkers and achievers have been known to wake up early. For instance, serial entrepreneur Richard Branson who owns Virgin, he gets up at 5.45 a.m. The current CEO of Apple, Tim Cook, gets up at 4.30 a.m. And Howard Schultz, the CEO of Starbucks, is up at 6 a.m. with his freaking coffee in his hand. So what's the cause behind this madness? Well, why is it that so many people are getting up early? Well, there's a number of reasons, right? I'm sure you've heard the adage or maxim, the early bird gets the worm. Now, it sounds ridiculous, it sounds silly, but it's very true. And there's five reasons on why you should get up early, and I'm going to outline them right now. Okay, reason number one, waking up early allows you to enter the flow state. Now, psychologist Mihai Csikszentmihalyi, I think that's how you pronounce it, stated in his book that flow is being completely involved in an activity for its own sake. The ego falls away, time flies, action Every action, movement, and thought follows inevitably from the previous one. Like playing jazz, your whole being is involved and you're using your skill to the utmost. Now basically, flow is being in the zone. Picture Kobe Bryant playing for the Lakers, right? Picture Tiger Woods on the field. It's being in the zone, completely consumed in your work. And waking up early because of the nature of the environment, usually people aren't up at that time, you are able to really go deep into your work. You're re able to do that deep work that Cal Newport talks about, to do that concentrated effort where you can really make some progress. Because what people fail to understand is multitasking doesn't exist, right? Multitasking is not a real thing. When your brain tries to multitask, you're switching between two things. So you need dedicated time where you can focus on one thing and just kill that thing. All right, so the second reason on why you should get up early in the morning is because it removes ego depletion. Now, ego depletion is a term coined by some scientists. It refers to the tendency for our willpower to be in finite amounts, right? So think of your willpower kind of like a battery. And as you go out throughout your day exerting your willpower, the battery goes down, of course. Now, things that exert your willpower are filtering distractions, resisting temptations, suppressing emotions, restraining aggression, trying to impress others, implementing new behaviors, and doing things we don't like. All these things decrease our willpower. Think of it. Have you ever had a day where you're irritated at work? You just you, Everything was going wrong. And then you get home and you find out that it's a lot easier for you to be triggered or a lot easier for you to let out on someone. It's because your willpower is low. It's harder for you to resist the urge just to get angry. Or if you've had a day where you did a lot of labor-intensive work for a couple of hours and you get home, the only thing you want to do is kick back and watch TV. You don't really necessarily want to do anything that involves willpower exertion. It's not because of the physical um, tiredness that you have. It's also the mental, the mental fatigue that you've suffered throughout the day. So if you can... Do your most intensive or your most important task in the morning while your willpower reserves are high. You are on the way to instant productivity. You have to eat the frog, as Brian Tracy likes to say. The third reason I would like to advise that you get your ass up in the morning is because it allows you time to have a morning ritual. Now, morning ritual is your own personal ritual. A set of activities that you're going to do every single day. For example, it could be Meditating for 20 minutes, exercising, eating a healthy breakfast, and then beginning work on your most important task. That's a pretty solid morning ritual right there. The thing is, morning rituals, the activities we do in them become habits, right? And our habits shape us. Once our habits become factors of our subconscious mind, once we no longer have to think about them, they're on autopilot and they shape us. It might seem small at the time, but small incremental changes in our lives, small incremental gains create a huge difference in the long term. I had a tap that was leaking, right? And I didn't think it was anything, but at the end of the month when the water bill came down, I was like, what the fuck? For example, if a plane is flying from Los Angeles, it's going to New York City. It's 1% off course. That plane ain't going to land in New York City. It's going somewhere else, okay? So small changes make big differences. And the people of the morning rituals are dictating their lives. They're 
choosing the activities they want to do, they're looking at the trajectory they want to get at, and they're going that way. Other people that don't have morning rituals, they wake up at 9 a.m. when it's time for work, and they brush their teeth, quickly eat, and go to work. They're letting the day dictate them. If you wake up in the morning, you can take some control over your life. Choose your trajectory by getting the morning set. You might have to go to work. You might have to do other things throughout the day, but the morning is yours. It's sacred. Reason number four, perhaps one of the most important reasons, is that it gives you time to sit and think and plan. To sit down with your thoughts, to see if you are on the right trajectory to hit your goals, to reflect on your past, to reflect on your values, your ethics, your personal metrics, to be honest with yourself. Are you going where you want to go? Now, David Dyer said in his book, The Way of the Superior Man, go find a quiet place where you can be alone and just think. He advises that every man, and every woman too, I suppose, has to find some time throughout the year where they can take the week off and just think, reflect, and see. Now, you don't have to take a week off. You do this every morning if you wake up early. Because you have to understand that if you are not careful, your life purpose can be shaped by everyone else. If you are not careful, your life will fly by you without you ever accomplishing anything you wanted. I remember Bronnie Ware in the Top 5 Regrets of Dying said that, One of the biggest regrets was people saying, I wish I had the courage to live life true to myself and not the life others expect of me. If you have time every morning to sit down with your thoughts and plan, you wouldn't live with these regrets. You'd be more calculating, more conscious, more aware of where your life is headed. You know when you're making mistakes. It's only when we don't have time to sit down and think and plan, when we are letting the day drag us left, right, and center, that we end up being somewhere where we never intended to be a couple years from now. So that's probably the most important reason to wake up in the morning so that you can have that alone time when it's quiet to be there with your thoughts. Okay, the last reason on why you should wake up at 5 a.m. is a bit of a selfish one. It's because of the intrinsic motivation you get from it. There's something about getting up early in the morning before the sun's out that gives you that psychological advantage. I remember watching a video of Mike Tyson running in the morning when it's really dark. And he said that, I know my opponent is not doing this. And that's why I'm going to beat them. I know for a fact there's no way my opponent is working as hard as me right now. I'm up here running in the morning. It's the same thing as a Navy SEAL. A Navy SEAL knows he's a badass because of what he's endured. Because of what he's experienced. Hell week, running 40Ks and doing all kinds of crazy shit. Same thing with you. When you wake up at 5 a.m. every morning, it gives you a crazy psychological advantage. You know you're a badass when you do it. You know that you're a badass when you accomplish more in your first three hours than what people do in their whole days. So to conclude, I only have one question for you. What time are you going to get up tomorrow morning?